I'm about to face Roxy's team on my Y2 random team challenge. Very underleveled as well. But first I must learn how to rock out. Now, I feel prepared to rock Roxy's Pokemon. Let's go to the gym. And look, 100%. I actually want to try and challenge the gym at this level. Because it would be pretty cool if I could win. And I have the feeling that Sigilyph might just be able to pull it off and gain some more usefulness than it has right now. Psywave is a move that uh, it has that has varying power, so it's unpredictable and very fun. Oh, here's a poster. I can sing! Wanted the rest of a band! And here's our cool gym leader, Clyde guy. This is a Pokemon, and there's also a rock club. I completely left out the word gym. The gym leader and the others are practicing inside, but please feel free to challenge all of them. Oh, you'll need to stay hydrated. Here you go. Never succumb to dehydration. All right. You can hear them sing Pokemon. I'm running the PA. I balance the sound in the venue so it's easy to hear. Are you a trainer? Does that mean you're thinking about the tight balance of Pokemon in your party? That's a gym leader for you. She really brings out the charms of her Pokemon, but she's too wrapped up in what she's doing here. I'm pretty sure they smell out uh, Coughing's uh, Japanese name in the Japanese version. But anyway, let's battle the guitarist. The first trainer in this gym. Billy Joe. Can't wait to new things. Okay. So, let's see how Psywave fares. Smack. Wait, is Sci- Ah, oh, Sidewave might be unaffected by tight matchups. Okay. Now I'm gonna ultimately, ultimately test to see what Sidewave does with tight matchups. Because honestly, I haven't used it since Generation 3, and I had a spoink. The more you know, Psywave does not. Alright, so now we're gonna use Psywave again. I'm just gonna exhaust it. Alright, Nazca fainted. So let's switch into another one. Uh, we haven't used Rambi in a long time. He has good defense and poison immunity, so this ought to be easy with constant horn attack, or at least immunity to regular poison type attacks, but not the poison status effect. Oh, I forgot it had a dark type move. That's what I get for having a level 6 Pokemon with me. Uh, Pretty sure a couple bites will take it out. Maybe even one. Yeah, Alright, good. Critical hit. And that's a guitarist. Alright, I just went back and healed. And now I'm going to face the drummer. This bald guy. Get my way and I'll knock you out. Stay in my way and I'll knock you out too. Such a cool guy. And apologies for all my talk about Psywave in the last part, because that was before I knew that Psywave didn't do any super effective damage. But I'm going to still use it anyway, because hopefully I'll get Psybeam soon. 
Ooh, disabled. This grimer is taking a while. Well, poop. I guess I'll lower its defense for the next guy. I'm actually going to send Sigilyph right back out in order to get a nice level up that it really needs. It has really nice speed. I think it has a speed increasing nature anyway though. Alright, cool. Grimer Falls. Well, we get a great amount of experience. Now let's see who's gonna get a major level up right now. Uh, how about yellow swing? All right, we beat the guy that was gonna beat us up and knock us out. But the real person that's about to knock us out is Roxy. I'm gonna go heal. All right, now we're gonna try and face Roxy. This is going to be an interesting battle, to say the least. I'm very under leveled, and she has some pretty high level Pokemon. Three of them, to be exact. I believe she has a coughing, a Grimer, and a Whirlipede in challenge mode. And she doesn't have the Grimer in normal mode. Five agonizing minutes of destruction later. <laughs> well... That did not go well at all. It ripped through my team, especially with Venoshock, which went through the Reflect that I set up with Single Life. So I guess that I'm going to now, in order to uh, get some good levels in while still doing something interesting, I'm going to explore the Verbank Complex in the south side of town. It's a cool looking factory place. Oh look, shaking grass. And this is probably an Audino. Audino can a ton of experience. So I highly suggest battling these whenever you can, if you just want a good bit of experience. I still use these after I beat the game a million Psy Waves later. Okay. Took it out, finally. It takes a billion Psy Waves. Oh, that's Tailwind. That's just a speed increasing move and we don't really need that. What I'm waiting for is, I think, level 13. Maybe level 13, hopefully. Oh, not level 13. It's soon, though, when it learns Psy Wave, Psy Beam. Which will help us in defeating Roxy. Alright, anyway, let's go actually into the complex now, even though you can find the same Pokemon on the inside and outside, I believe. It has really cool music, lots of warehouses. Big buff guy. And he wants the workers in the complex fired up. So we have to find all the workers, like that dude up there. And we have to rally them and chat with them. Ah, oh, but youngster. Alright. Bye-bye, youngster. I believe we can access the first worker by not falling off these pipes. It's kind of tough to do. 
Ah, oh, and there's the worker. I'm happy just to be with my awesome Pokemon. What a battle? I guess so. I'll play a bit. This may not be one of the new workers. Don't remember. This could be. Whatever. Let's battle him. Whirlwind. When will it learn a useful move? Just saying, I love pedal dance. Alright, let's see if this guy gets fired up. I completely forgot! But don't worry, I'll work really hard. My Pokemon have a chance to shine. Alright, time to get to work. So yeah, that guy, guy does get fired up. Alright. Yeah, there's another worker way down there. Alright, cool. I'm not gonna fight that youngster yet. Every day is the same. Get bored when things don't change, so I don't mind battling you. Let me just note right now that Psywave doesn't have any power points anymore. So I'm just gonna have to switch Pokemon and battle with something else, I guess. Uh, oh wow, I just made a bad decision. Whatever, let's keep going. Let's just roll with it. That's worker number two. Alright, let's find the last worker. I have a hunch of where he is. Oh, and let's talk with this girl really quick. She has a woo bat. I thought I remember her doing something special, but I, don't, I guess not. Woo bat! Woo bat, woo bat, woo bat! Not zoo bat, but woo bat with a W. I'd like to note that uh, the Sigilith has a, an advantage whenever it uses moves that uh, are not very effective with Tinted Lens, making Synchronoise a very helpful move. Only whenever you're fighting f Flying and Psychic types, though. Yeah. Alright, that girl wants you to encounter all the Pokemon in the habitat list here. There's the last worker, down there. So this time on the pipeline, we go down... There we go. Here's the last worker. Five agonizing minutes of destruction later. We meet again, Magby. And you're going down this time. For some reason, this Magby only uses Ember and Leer and Smog. It uses Leer for, like, no reason because it doesn't have any physical attacks. But hey, I'm not going to question his judgment. Because it's an easy win.
All right, now let's take out coughing for real. Now that's good, Carvana. All right. Finally took him out. And now we have all three workers fired up. And there's an item down here. TM-46 Thief, which comes in great handy whenever you're item hunting on Pokemon that hold, hold items. Also, it's a great dark type move for any Pokemon that can't really learn anything good at the moment. I might actually use it on something. Let's see. I'm going to teach it to Rambi. Alright, cool. Now let's talk with the factory owner. Hey, you did it, didn't you? This is a token of my thanks. And we get TM94 Rock Smash, which is a nice fighting type move that lowers defense every time. It doesn't have the highest attack power, but the fact that it lowers defense is like a free leer. And now, before I fight Roxy, I'm going to fight one more Audino. Alright, so I just looked up some of Sigalift stuff off camera, and got it to level 18 through multiple Audinos. And I finally am able to teach it Psybeam over the inferior Psywave. So now, after one Pokemon Center healing, we are definitely ready to finish off Roxy. And because this uh, Burbank Complex is taking so long, we're going to finish off the episode after we take off Roxy. Take on. Uh, take on Roxy. So I'm going to magically heal and then appear in front of the gym. How did I do that? Get ready, I'm going to knock some sense out of ya! All right, she starts out coughing. Soon will be coughing in pain because of Psybeam. Finally able to rip through her team. Next up is Grimer. It's gonna be reduced to nothing but grime. Oh. But I'm not gonna use Sigalith at all on the last Pokemon if I can. Whirlipede. I wanna make things interesting. I'm gonna send out Rambi. Alright. Tail whip this thing. Oh, it has protect. So it's a good thing I didn't use an actual attacking move that turn. To make sure this thing isn't holding any item, we ought to be able to survive this Venom Shock. Yeah. I'm gonna use Thief. Oh! We got a Citrus Berry. Very nice. So now this thing can't heal as we gradually chip away at it. Plus, the citrus berry will restore our health. This hit might take out Rhyhorn, though. But that's okay, because we took out its citrus berry. Now here comes Vulpix. Foxy Grandpa. With the ultra-powerful flamethrower. As long as it doesn't get taken out by uh, rollout first turn. It barely survives. Ooh, flamethrower might not be able to. Now, rollout is going to continue for three turns until it actually misses. So I'm going to send out Bulbasaur, which is resistant to the roll. Resist the roll. And we're going to leap seed and tackle it. Oh, I thought it was resistant. Wow. Okay. Uh... Yellow Swag. It ought to be fast enough to get in one hit at least. I 
a Ruskin. And now the most powerful rollout of all. Let's see if we can get some luck with Fion and have it miss. Nope. So I guess we're going to start how, end how we started with Sigalith and Sidebeam. And there goes Whirlipede. And we've rocked Roxy! Sai, what are you doing losing, Roxy? Well, I guess that means you're strong! This stinks, but I gave everything I had, and I re feel revitalized and refreshed now. Here, proof that you beat me. And we get this badge! I also don't know the name of until she tells us. It looks cool. The Toxic Badge, okay, that makes sense. And we get Venom Shock. Which is a cool poison type move that whenever a Pokemon is poison, it does double damage. This gym is really sadly silent right now. And there's a lot of carnage. But I'll see you next episode, when I will hopefully have the rest of this team balanced out to match the high level of Nazca, and then we will take an adventure around the rest of Burbank City, and move on, possibly across the sea.